A session control is session control. Session control. Hey, session control, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jason Beltran, six-string six guitar player and also from Phoenix. Uh, we're missing our 12-string as well. He's pretty lit out in Peñasco. Shout out to you, compa Dylan. I hope you're doing all right. <laughs> Growing up in Phoenix, Arizona, it was pretty normal actually, you know? It was going to school Monday through Friday, waking up in the weekends and enjoying a carne asada with your family, turning on the radio, listening to those corridos, you know? Listening to those Mexican traditions, what it's really like, what certain Mexican families go through and what they have to do to get out of that poverty, get out that sad side of the world, you know? It's a tough way to express it, but it's reality. In Phoenix, Arizona, it's reality, you know? How did that influence our music? That's where the tough side of Phoenix Arizona comes in because there's a reality. There's people moving the streets. There was people that had to make a living and there's people that fell into that living. And that's where we come in. We grew up with the tradition of listening to narco corridos, listening to the romanticas, listening to the cumbias. And that just falls in, you know? One day you grow up, and you wake up, we're, well, we have technology today, correct? You go on your Facebook, Narco Corridos. You see, everybody knows the Chapo Guzman. Everybody knows El Mayo. So at the end of the day, we just throw out our news locally, you know, what we wake up to and see every day. Instagram and shit, you know, you do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wrote the science. Con lujos caros y con damitas que se ando sequis y bucanitas Hay que brindar Yo soy el David pa' presentarme Con el Jared me gusta pasearme En un Cherokee alteradito nos verán Un fuerte abrazo a toda la clínica El compa Bel nunca se me agüita Pa' conversar Sin mercancía pa' no quemarme Mejor la quemo pa' relajar El verde es vida, solo lo quiero aclarar Llega de exceso la pistera Tres días nos pega la loquera Perfil doble Z también sencillo Y soy sencillo y no presumido En el ambiente del negocio hay que pensar Ya los Benjamin llegarle. Oh, 
And that's a whole different story right there. <laughs> that's like a whole different story. to start making music for me personally it was just what can I say it, it just that spark of hearing a voice that stood out to me you know it was like that song I was a five-year-old six-year-old singing that song why were you singing that song because I would wake up hop on the call with my dad oh look hear this song out he would explain that song to me oh this is happening in Mexico this guy's doing this I was a six-year-old gaining that knowledge, and I grew up 15, 16. I was a big baseball fan. I do baseball myself, and at that age, that's when uh, quarantine came up, correct? We all had nothing to do. We were at home. I couldn't practice my sport, of course, and that curiosity came in. It's like, everyone's doing it. I can too. I can too, and that's when it came to meeting these guys in quarantine, and the rest is history, you know? me into making music was I would watch this um, one guitarist who was a famous um, musician his name is Adil Camacho and um, I would see how he would like play the guitar and I was like damn I want, I want to do that one day so that's when I just told my dad I was like oh, buy me a guitar I want to do that like I want to learn just like him he's all right but you better learn like I, I'm a buyer for you but you have to learn so I was like, all right I'm gonna do it so from there I just started learning and then to be honest I did like for like a good year and a half, I did like stop. I didn't like give my full motivation for it until like quarantine hit. That's when um that's when I met him and also him, and like we linked up and that's when like I gave my full to music. And since then, so what got me into making music was uh, I guess it was just a hobby of mine. I used to play soccer like well, kind of like he played baseball, and uh, I always used to play soccer and the guitar thing, which is like a side thing, you know, hobby thing. And now until quarantine, I met these guys through my cousin and. I don't know, I just, I was like, uh, doing music, man. It's a good, it's a good feeling. Pues tres años y medio me los tuve que aventar. Eso de la escuelita, mente fue avanzando. Some of the pros. What are some of the pros? That's a good question. It's, it's something I never took in, really. I've been so busy, so, so hungry, you know? I've been so hungry to look for the answers, but at the end of the day, we've, progressed a lot in these two years we've done a lot we've traveled places I never imagined traveling I've um gotten to help my family in ways I couldn't imagine you know and it's a true blessing and at the end of the day um you become a family you know with these four like it becomes a routine and wake up and just let them know we got practice today you know and it's it's a beautiful vibe it's making music and you create a lifestyle you know that's what it is I would say the pros of being in a group is um just the fact that we're like we're always together. We do mostly like we go out together. We do mostly everything together. Like if one of us is like down, another one, another one of us will like push each other up. You know. And like you mentioned, it, it's yeah. family. You know, it, even even our problems like our saying is all right. At the end of the day, I see you tomorrow. You know, that's our vibe. Is we chopped it up. We had our disagreement. All right, see you tomorrow. We still gotta chase the dream. You know. I mean, it's like family, bro. You, if something's happening, you can rely on anybody. You know, you're not by yourself. You're never by yourself. Musically speaking, and yeah. just at the end of the day, you know. How do we agree on production? Sometimes we don't agree, you know? And that's that. That's that. Sometimes you don't agree, but it's it's magic, bro. It's like like I said, it's an everyday thing. But if you go less it, every day Monday to Friday, practice, Saturday, Sunday, we're figuring out but we're doing something, you know? So I was trying to be productive and growing naturally. And it just come it becomes an instant instinct, sorry, to create something and to create a style, you know? You pick something out. He throws something out. Maybe we don't like what he throws out, but 
out of them throwing out something, we create something within, you know? And that's what Perfil Doble S.A. is. It's just four different styles becoming one style. That's the way I see it. No tengo nombre para la vida real. What's something that has to be in the studio? My manager, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure because we we might be a mess sometimes, you know? We might be a mess. It's it's like I said, it's a family, it's a brotherhood, and sometimes when you're creating, you know, it's freaking eight hours in a magic room. It, it can get dirty sometimes, you know? It can get dirty. It can get and in a good way, you know? Because people don't realize it's so much sweat, it's so much stress, it's so much even sleepless nights to create what you guys enjoy, you know? Uh, these are your boys, Perfil Doble S. Make sure you guys go ahead and follow us on Instagram. Uh, we'd like to thank my boy Yogi, uh, our team from Bar Entertainment. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> Love you, man. Um, and to everyone who follows us, everyone who supports us, we promise we won't let you guys down. And if you guys have a dream, go ahead and chase it. Just like the rest. <laughs>